The cornerbacks are pretty ridiculous too, with two superstar cornerbacks and Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon Diggs. I don't think there's another team in the game that has two superstar cornerbacks. Then you got Nolan Smith, is coming into the game with a 93 speed. Him on one side, Hassan Rags probably the best out of all of them coming off the other side, and that dude is going to be an absolute nightmare coming off the edge. If you run a 3-4, you have four or five linebackers that are averaging close to 90 speed or higher. <laughs> For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Slip the Mad Cheese as always. We're talking Madden 24 today and defensive teams. That's right. I've been doing a series where I've been going over the best teams to use in Madden 24. I already did the worst teams to use. I already did the best offenses. I will have links in the description at the end of the video for all the videos I've already done from this series. But if you guys want to see the two remaining videos that I have planned, which is best teams and sleeper teams, as well as probably best teams to rebuild in a franchise, Woo! hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as I do plan on doing those before Madden 24 drops but today I'm talking defense so today I'm gonna to be going over the best defensive teams to me the best defensive teams typically have the best pass rush and the best secondary you can't I mean you can hide a lot of things run defense is really all about the formation you're using but when it comes to uh, pass defensive you, you can't hide a bad secondary you can't hide bad corners so that's pretty much gonna immediately eliminate you from this list but the number one criteria to be on this is pretty much team speed because team speed is really what makes up for everything it, I mean, you get to the quarterback faster, you get to the deep balls in the air faster. Team speed is probably the most important thing. Now, to show you guys how hard it is to make this list, we are starting off with what's probably the best defense in real life, and that's the San Francisco 49ers. They're at the bottom of my tiered list here. Number one, team speed is a huge issue for this team. They do have Nick Bosa at one defensive end. He's going to get you, you know, a bunch of sacks out of nowhere that you didn't necessarily expect, which is always important. So that's a huge plus. You get to the defensive tackles. You got uh, Javon Hargrave and Eric Armstead. Like I said, defensive tackle is probably one of the least important positions to me compared to real life, which is probably one of the most important positions. But in Madden, it doesn't necessarily matter as much. You really want more edge pressure speed than anything. Getting the linebacker spot, this is really where they have a lack of team speed. They have really good linebackers, and Fred Warner and Drake Greenlaw, but they're only 86 and 84 speed, which is something that, you know, I don't care how good you are, if you don't have that speed to make up distance or to send on a blitz and get to the quarterback really fast, there's not a ton of value. When you get to the cornerbacks, you see they do have one really highly rated quarterback in Traverius Ward, but he also doesn't have any superstar abilities, so the secondary as a whole is pretty average. You get to the safeties, and once again, one of their highest rated players in Deshaun Gibson is 83 speed. I don't want that. I'd probably rather start George Odom, who I never even really heard of, or, or this guy here because they're 91 and 92 speed. Then you get to their best uh, safety player, and it's you know Huafunga, who's a 90. Next up, we got the Ravens. Now, the Ravens have a little bit more in the team speed category, but when you get to the linebackers, this is where you start to see that team speed that I'm talking about. Guys like Adefi Owa, who's an 89 speed. Uh, David Njabu, who was their first round pick, I think, two years ago, has an 87 speed. You got, you know, middle linebackers like Roquan Smith, who's both a very high overall at a 91, but he's also an 88 speed, which is way better. Patrick Queen, 87 speed. Trenton Simpson, a 91 speed. This would probably be the guy that I'd be sending off the edge on blitzes, but I just named four guys that have, uh, you know, around 90 speed, so that should be your four linebackers. Then you get to the secondary, you do have a superstar corner, at least one. The second cornerbacks aren't that great. You got to choose from a a bunch of average guys but at least you have one superstar cornerback who can you know lock down a superstar receiver you go to the safety or the secondaries you have marcus williams one tonight 89 speed 87 overall and kyle hamilton who's only an 88 speed it's still pretty high but he's six foot four i mean he's a great user option next up we got the browns and the browns might have maybe the best defensive end combo in the game with uh, zadarius smith who's only an 80 speed but that's actually pretty good for a defensive end uh, he's also a superstar player so he's going to get you some sacks from time to time you don't necessarily earn miles garrett though much different i mean nick bosa was a 98 as well or whatever but 87 speeds much different than whatever nick bosa's speed was that was like a 79 i'll definitely take the eight point speed boost their linebackers are kind of slow uh, but they do have at least one in jeremiah awusu koromoa who's an 89 speed so at least you have one really fast linebacker for blitzes or if you want to use them or whatever you get to the secondary and they have uh denzel ward who i don't know why he doesn't have a superstar ability but he's a 90 for speed which to me a speed like that and a high overall rating is kind of like having a superstar ability because speed is one of the most important things once again and greg newsome is a 93 speed 
So you have two really good cornerbacks with great speed, which, like I said, to me, is definitely one of the most important things. Then you get to their safeties. One Thornhill's solid, and Grant Delpit is another guy. 88 speed. He's six foot three. Next up, we got the Buffalo Bills. Uh, some pretty good uh, pass rushing options. Uh, Greg Rousseau was a first-round pick not too long ago. Uh, they also have uh, Boogie Basham, who's an 86 speed, hiding on the roster. A couple guys. Leonard Floyd has been around for a long time, so some good options there. Vaughn Miller is only 85 speed, but he's another game record. He's a guy that's just going to make plays for you out of nowhere, get a bunch of sacks and stuff like that. So definitely a good player. Superstar abilities once again. So the defensive ends are solid. Uh, Ed Oliver is a really good defensive tackle too. The fact that he's an 83 speed is really fast for a defensive tackle. So their front four is very good. Getting to the linebackers, not a ton of cheap speed. I mean, 86 isn't horrible. Um, 87 here for Tyrell Dotson. He might be one of your best options to come off the edge. And then they have Matt Milano, one of the best linebackers in the game. Uh, then you get to the secondary. They do have a superstar in Shadavis White. Um, he's, you know, 91 speed, very good player. Tayron Johnson's a very good second corner. Uh, some good cheap speed in Kyrie Elam, a former first-round pick. So if you're playing in franchise, you can work him up as well. Uh, Mika Hyde, superstar safety. They also have Jordan Porter, another superstar safety. And both of them have 88 speed, so very good speed. Next up, we got my take for the number two defense, what might be the number one defense in real life, and that's the Dallas Cowboys, which I'm sure a lot of Cowboys fans love to hear. Once again, speed is the name of the game. They have a defensive end named Sam Williams, who's an 89 speed. I'd probably maybe start him an outside linebacker. I'm not really sure, but I definitely want that guy going after quarterback with speed like that. Also, it's a 91 acceleration. Lawrence is a very good player as well. Uh, when you get to the other side, you got Mika Parsons. Imagine having an 89 speed on one side, 92 speed on the other side. Getting to the linebackers, they got a lot of fast linebackers as well. Devin Harper, rookie, 89 speed. Jabril Cox, I think was a rookie last year, 88 speed. Uh, Leighton Vanderess is the highest rated player, but given some of the speeds of some of these players around him, I mean, I actually like using the Cowboys in Madden. Damon Clark is another guy that I like to send off the edge with his 90 speed. The cornerbacks are pretty ridiculous, too, with two superstar cornerbacks in Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon Diggs. I don't think there's another team in the game that has two superstar cornerbacks. They also have a really fast cornerback in Calvin Joseph, who's perfect for blitzing off the edge. When you get to the safeties, they all have good uh, good speed. Malik Hooker's definitely the best one. Uh, Marquise Bell's a guy I use a lot as a user in a sub-package uh, safety role because he's six foot two with 92 speed, so very good player there. And then you also have guys like Donovan Wilson and J. Ron Cursor, all above 80 and then last but not least, we have the Philadelphia Eagles. That's right, my team, the Philadelphia Eagles, as my number one pick. I know you're shocked. But when you see the team speed on a lot of these guys, you're going to know why I put them there. Team speeds like Kyron Johnson, who's a 92 speed with a 93 acceleration. I would put him back to linebacker. That's what he was running for me in Madden 24. Here they have him listed as a, a left end. Brandon Graham, highly rated player. Josh Sweat, highly rated player, 85 uh, speed. Get to the linebackers, though. This is really, really starting to pick up in team speed. Hassan Reddick's probably the best out of all of them. He's also the slowest at an 86, although I could have scored he was an 87 last year. Then you got Nolan Smith, who coming off of a 4.39 uh, 40 time at the Combine, is coming into the game with a 93 speed and a 95 acceleration. That dude is going to be an absolute nightmare coming off the edge. Him on one side, Kyron Johnson at 92 speed coming off the other side. You got Nicobe Dean, a middle linebacker, who's close to a 90 speed. And then you also have Davion Taylor, who's close to a 90 speed outside linebacker. If you run a 3-4, you have four or five linebackers that are averaging close to 90 speed or higher. That's a disgusting blitz package. Get to the cornerbacks, and you have a superstar cornerback, which is kind of par for the course. You kind of need that to be on this list. Darius Slay, 92 speed, definitely helpful. James Bradbury, a very highly rated cornerback. Uh, Avanti Maddox, also, you know, almost uh, almost an 80 at cornerback as your third corner. And then you have a lot of cheap speed with guys like Greedy Williams, who's also six foot two at a 93 speed. You also have Keely Ringo, who's a 94 speed, six foot two cornerback. So you got a lot of cheap speed with really great physical profiles. Safeties where they lose a little bit off the top. I mean, they do have a couple of cheap speed guys, a couple of 90 speed safeties. I think their best two safeties are probably going to be Terrell Edmonds and Sidney Brown. They're both 90 speed. You can see Sidney Brown even has a 95 acceleration, which is ridiculous. So speed's all that matters when it comes to safety. If you get if the ball is in the air and your safety's fast, he's going to get there. So that's it. That's the list. If you guys agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section. If you think I missed anybody, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I have the videos popping up on screen that I was talking about earlier. Uh, so if you want to see them, click links, as I'm sure it'll help with your game in Madden 24. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Mike, shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.